is that Tony Hawk? Yeah. Tony Hawk, do something cool. See, that's what gets the ladies, dude. Shredding. Yeah. All right, what were you saying? Oh, look at that raunchy salt. You're fucking raunchy salt, faggot. How dare you? You in? No. All right, you getting food, dude? $250. Food? No, already. Second meal. I don't know about us. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll start her up and pop the hood again for a little update. Hood has to be closed for it to start on remote, so. I don't have to do that, where is it? Down here. All right, let's do this, man. Nice shot. So yeah, this truck, well, first of all, it's, the salt has got on. Still ride the lip here, I don't know. So yeah, there we go. The only issue that I ever had was right here. Well, ever since I put that new O-ring in, it's been fine, so the truck's running great. Nice filter right here, man. Can you feel it? I don't know. Now we're going to put that engine cover back. I love the look of this. Everything always shaking, so much vibration. Alright. Looks like we're good to go. I just love looking at that engine, man. It's so... It's... But another thing that doesn't make sense to me is, I know a lot of these trucks are coming with 33, 34-inch tire stock, and if they're running the 3.42, then why can't they just run a 35? So it doesn't make sense. Check out this ram. Oh my gosh, those rims are very similar to the Silverados. It doesn't make any sense to me. If they're running a 33 stock, what, what real difference is it going to make if I run a 35? Let's go check out some of these new rams, and I'm saying an actual ram dealer instead of looking at these singled ones out at a Ford dealer or something. I'm saying I want to find one with the biggest tires coming stock, and we'll see what we can do here. too often but when you do you can get basically any car you want i mean look at this the inventory that these places have is just phenomenal it's crazy but now i'm gonna have to make a left turn here and this is going to be this is going to be something all right and we got a forward turning in this is going to be interesting very interesting like a champ that time. Woo! We are here now at the Ram dealer and I'm seeing a lot of cool trucks here. I don't think they have any eco diesels here. Unfortunately, I don't think that's, I don't even think you can get those around anymore for a while, but let's see what we can find. Got to get a line up here. We got a Duramax with smaller tires in the fender with the custom bushwhacker fender flares and same with that ram over there. Ram has a custom exhaust. That tip is huge and so with the pipe. So I'm thinking that might be a deleted truck. Let's see. Look at that. Just doubles up right there. So this is just, I don't know, you don't even need the fender for this to pass. 3512 5R20, very cool. Actually, you know, I love that interior. You can see anything. 
looks cool. Then we got this 2500 D Max. Look at this bedliner, man. It's not even a bedliner, actually. It's kind of a step in the snow to show you. Holy cow, 11 diesel. Look at those grills, man. Gee whiz, that's so different, but I mean, the Silverado is going to look something similar. That's all I'm going to say. So we got the Hemi over there with custom headlights. We got this cool bull bar, grill guard, whatever you want to call it, up front. That's, I'd take those off immediately. Cab lights on top. Look at that, my interior man, but a D-Max. So let's see up front. See, no solid axle. Although, it does seem, the axle does seem stronger than the Silverado, but still, I'm not sure. There's the bump stops right there that was cut off on my truck to fit my oversized leveling kit, which they advertise as a lift kit. Uh, it's a tough decision, man. I really wish they did a solid axle, though. Here we go. We got a we got a nice ram right here, black handlebars. Look at that. Bottom forks, four shifter. I'm actually not minding this interior at all. Honestly, I thought of it much worse before. They took off the ram symbol, but everyone seems to do that. Looks like we got some corrosion under here. For sure, but we got the solid axle. Nice truck, man. I'm loving these grill. I love the new grill design. It's something I've always want. It's that over my design, but can't have everything. So we got the nice hooks down here. Look at that. Gosh, even that's different, man. It's a nice truck, man. I wonder what year this is. I love this blue. Look at that blue, dude, in the light. Oh, man. Oh. Such a nice truck. So these tires don't look that big. That's what I'm looking for. I was looking for the ones with the bigger packages of the bigger tires. 275, 70, R18. So that's a 33. Well, I just had a genius idea. <laughs> Let's look under the hood of this thing, man. Just like mine. Okay. Oh my gosh. SMB cold air intake. First thing. That's immediately what I noticed. Emissions blocker plate. Throttle valve delete. Look at that delete. That is so much different than mine. Oh my gosh. I'm amazed by that. And there is the full thing that I have. Basically the same thing. Let me walk over a little bit. Brand new batteries, it looks like. But look at that, man. EGR cooler is gone. Blocker plate down there. And it's actually got the readout. This is, this is actually where they just cap it. They didn't even route it. See on mine, mine routes to there, but it looks like, I don't know where that goes, but it does not go here anymore. So this, I don't even know how that setup works because I don't even know what the, that's weird. My truck does not do that. So this engine bay is actually a lot cleaner is what I'm noticing. Still got this, the CCB going directly into the turbo. Look how bad that is. It goes from there to there, terrible. This is honestly a superb engine. Looks like it was really, really kept in good condition. Look at that. Well, I mean, it's also got about half a mile, but still. It's a leading truck on the lot. Bully Dog. There we go. Bully Dog Programmer. That's what I was looking at. It's crazy, man. I didn't know they would sell this at a dealership, you know? Sick. That might have to be the thumbnail, to be honest. Selling a deleted truck at the dealer. That's pretty. And that design is probably by far my favorite design. We got another new one here. I'm going to check the tire size of that. But let's get to this <laughs> Ram Rebel 4X4. It's a gas, but look how big that 3713 R20. Holy shite. Oh my gosh, is this a body lift too? There's a body lift on this too. What? That's a bot that's a three inch body. On a gas on a diesel. Well no, that's a gas. It's a gas. So there's a three inch body and you can't even tell like the Silverado. You would never even be able to tell. But besides this, this I don't know about that, but 3713.5. Body lift and suspension. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they did this to new trucks. 
What am I? I have so much content for this one video, man. Loving those rims, man. Nitto grapplers, they really did a good job on this truck. There's the interior if you can see anything. Very nice. Notch door handles. Look at that. 13.5. Couldn't imagine a 15.5. Gee whiz. That's very small for an exhaust. A good bigger on that. 